Saturday's Telegraph now. There is soup on the walls of an art gallery, but it's not Andy Warhol this time. Nick. Yes, well, it's Just Stop Oil activists who have thrown soup on a Van Gogh's painting, The Sunflowers. You may have seen it on Twitter. I have. It's pretty pathetic. We, and I think we've got the video. We can oh, good. see what this looks like. There we go. No surprise, pink oh! hair. It's mandatory. I was going to do my hair pink when it went well, grey. <laughs> and you can get involved <laughs> with Just Stop Oil. That's uh, Phoebe Plummer, who's 21, and Anna Holland. And a, she's really called Plummer. Of course she's called Plummer. But she's got the most plummy accent. Exactly. She, they are so posh, these kids. She calls herself Ziggy yeah. Stardike as well, as one of her aliases. So, yeah, look, you know what, it, it's, it's, it's posh narcissistic people. Some of them may genuinely believe it and have been brainwashed into it. The rest are sort of posh narcissist young people looking for attention, I think. And then she says here, Plummer, what is worth more, art or life? I think they shouted, actually, at the, at the painting. Is it worth more than food, worth more than justice? Why do we have to choose between art and food? I'm not quite clear it, on it's, this. It's, mm. it's utterly incoherent. But, of course, what is happening here is they're choosing a famous, much-loved painting to draw attention to their cause. That's the idea, I suppose. Yeah, but it doesn't. It just it annoys people. And I've and, and, and I, I kind of been saying this recently as well, that it is posh, middle-class people. And it's, 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 it's across the... And all these kind of protesters where... I'm, I've been protesting my whole life, right? And it's not been because we come from a place of where we don't have and then we're trying to get something for us. I don't understand what their cause is. I don't understand what is it you don't want. I mean, because starving artists, they, they, what, are you, are you trying to come well, make a comparison? Is, I don't know what... Uh, no, I mean, a lot of these activists do, oh, they, they have bought into a certain ideology. They do believe that Western civilization needs to be dismantled. And so when they take these images, these iconic images from civilization, that art being the sort of greatest achievement of humankind, and attack that. I mean, I agree with you. I think that just alienates people from their cause. I think people... But also, it is authoritarian. Whenever you destroy or vandalise art, you have fallen into that authoritarian bracket. Yeah, I think they see it as some sort of punk radical thing. But some of them are actually art students, so I, I reckon they see it as, like, a kind of art... This actual, this destruction oh, that's of that's so boring. That's, People have done that for years. I know. It's, it's, no, I, I, it's, I know it's not. I'm just saying how some of them probably see. It's equivalent of burning books and destroying art, like, that, yeah. that you know, obviously, really... There's not a good precedent for that in history. No.